Well, welcome back to Cyberpunk. Picking up where we left off. Let's see, we need to go meet Dex. Uh. Hmm? How's it going? What are you doing, man? How's Mama Wells? How's your mom? <laughs> Worried about me. Been for a while. Something happened? Started climbing our way up. Got more and more knives out there, waiting to stab us in the back. Higher stakes, higher risk, Chica. She can see that. Hmm. Been with Misty a while, huh? Yeah, about a year. Why? Just asking. Never thought you'd last that long in a stable, healthy relationship. Hey, come on, Chica. You know I was <laughs> raised right. <laughs> Hey, how well do you know Buck exactly? La mamita got a soft spot for me. <laughs> no, but seriously, she ain't the type you go out and grab a beer with. Don't actually think she got any soft spots anywhere for anybody. Right. <laughs> kind of like two Buck. Okay, so we need to move on. Whoa. Uh, later then. No, See, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Hmm. All right, to incapacitate enemies, there are various ways to inca incapacitate enemies without killing them, non-lethal takedowns, uh, quick hacks, Non-lethal weapons, EMP grenades, and weapons mods. Okay. It'll be mentioned in the description. Okay. But you are not the of All right. So we still got to meet the Dex. Not only. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? This some sort of test? Eh, just a pet topic of mine. I mean, I can't. Riddles? I already told you. No, Miss V. Ontology. Exactly. All right. Listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. Got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you, but we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. 
A biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. And sees Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Miss V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. And the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shark. <laughs> Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. Then I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's a prima donna? Corpo agent. Internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Miss V. <coughs> Quiet life or a blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. I kinda like it, guy. Street cred. Uh, performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the night city underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Okay. <coughs> oh, it's Jackie. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. 
Let's see. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it, then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. Well, it sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent, too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Chingon. Yeah, he don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. I must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. Seeing what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Hasta luego. Alrighty, so now let's see. We gotta go to Lizzie's bar. I just want to remind you again that it's already changed hands between uh, me and uh, Steen uh, Maelstrom Partners in Bez, around some of 10,000 to be precise. So when you're there to take it off their hands, don't let them try and shake you down as they'll be liable to do. Okay. Thanks for the info. Oh, what, what, what did he say? I'm not sure how to bring that back. Let's see. I don't know just call my car. Is it now? You want to say the time? 3.58. Okay, so what can we do while we're here? Let's see, a fixer. Let's see. New gigs. Assault in progress. Let's go there. So, I'm guessing that's the... Uh, This direction? Yeah. Salt in progress.
<laughs> okay, that is uh, not the way to play that, apparently. Alright, fair enough. I'm learning here. Trace protocol. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember how to do this. F. Oh, man. All right, uh. I don't remember how to do this. Okay. Where's my other weapons? And a pistol. I don't know why those weren't already equipped. See uh, ricochet weapons. Okay, that's pretty cool. Capacity booster. Thank you. 
Let's see, tech weapons. Uh, tech weapons allow you to charge up powerful shots that can pierce uh, light cover to hit enemies. Okay, now that's pretty cool. Let's see, it's now 4.30. All right, what's going on out here in the city? Let's go there. Get out of the way. How far is this place? I have no clue. I thought it was fairly close. Yeah, it's close. Seriously. Okay. But word of a cyber psycho attack. All confirmed. Even reported to Max Tech. Thing is, nobody's gonna show because Militech shut it right down. You ask me, Psycho's gotta be one of theirs. My Eddie's our own Lieutenant Mower. Anyway, Corporal's gonna go straight into treatment. So make very, very sure you keep her in one piece. Um, okay. That's how you use that weapon. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. I still really don't know what all I need and don't need. Street creds went up. Awesome. Yeah, my girl. Think I got gaggled you myself, huh? Where'd you go? Damn it. 
come for him. I like the hit fire much better. Still allowed to be saying that. You're all like dead. All right, let's see. It's 5:15 now. Let's see, where am I going? Where do I want to go? Let's go there. Let's get back, have a drink. How do I holster my weapon? No, I don't want that. I don't know. The other way. Oop, I gotta go this way. And how do I operate this? Oh, there it is. Oh. place to kick back have a drink huh what's up dude get off that Need to check one guy. Maybe you know something. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And who? Simon Randall, also known as Royce. Maelstrom. Little birds say a certain Dex has taken an interest in him. You checking to see if I'll tell you the same thing as another fixer? Clever, but not too wise. Used to be a media, didn't you? Not hard to guess. But I'll give you a point for perceptiveness. Why you stop? Never stopped, really. Information is a weapon, B. I just traded in for a larger caliber. Regina, how do you describe Watson in one sentence? The Japanese built Kabuki, but the Chinese live there mostly. North side used to be plated in chrome. Now it's covered in rust. We have an entire aquarium full of corpos, and that's no metaphor. Know what all that comes out to? One sentence is never enough. That's Watson. 
Okie dokie. bar should be open by the time we get there. It's almost time. Y'all won't even talk to me at all, will you? Sale terminals. Spare veterans some change. Here. All yours. Bless all good and you. God bless. Let's see, do we have anything we want to sell right now? Let's see how many 80s do we have? We have 2790. I think we want to scrap some of this stuff, I think. I might do some research on that. That's cyber mods. I don't want to sell those. What's this stuff? Scope. Okay. Uh, weapons mods. I need to learn how to do that. Frag grenades. Don't want to sell that. Do I even need to use this stuff? Thirteen armor, almost fourteen armor for short shorts. <laughs> okay, uh huh. Um, I haven't picked up a bunch of. Guess we'll settle that. That. Uh, sell that. Sell that stuff. Sell. Bloody knife. Yeah, I don't want that. Cards. Yep, I'll sell those. Counterfeit documents. Okay. Cool. We did not make much off that. But, uh, that bought us a little bit of time, so now well, they should talk to us. Let's go ahead and heal up. Alright, it is now six. Hey there, doll face. Interest you in a preem BD? <coughs> Excuse me. What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. 
Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Uh, another time. Know what? No. Uh, maybe another time. Sure thing, doll. Alright, I talked to you. Reconsidered, huh? I guess I got to. Spoke. Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. Welcome oh, to Lizzie's. It's just weird. It's My, weird. what a weird. sweet little face you have. Okay. Uh, no. Man, what a club. I You killed out of control. I mean, I'm still feeling that dragon tail bite. Hey, oh, another round tail. over here, Stat. So, what can a horn for like me do for a hungry god? Hey! Get you something. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn. Club's big. I'm gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Let's wait for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. <laughs> this one's yes. Nothing's wrong. You really? Why don't you just tell me the truth? It's I just told you. Okay. And... Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? You write in Dex's bio. Hate to disappoint, but I just don't know much. In other words, you hardly know each other. 
Yet he fingered you for this job. Hmm. Curious. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's been to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game, and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. What else do you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. 
cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an Emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? Of course! No. You can count on me, babe. It can be a very useful tool. Mm -hmm. Would you be good for like else? analyzing no, details, no, human perception, me. even boosted, doesn't grasp Relax. exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, huh. years. Mm -hmm. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. Mm. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Oh, a little bit of loot here. What are you doing? Still in your stuff. Taking your loot. No, don't cry. You got this, though. Cards, really? All right, y'all. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call this episode here. I thank y'all for watching. Please hit that like button and uh, subscribe to see more. Thank you.